Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Yukon Bob here. Nice to have you back with me. It's been a couple of weeks since we last chatted. As I mentioned at the end of the last video, I was out in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia for a week, out in uh, the great mountain area of uh, the lower mainland of British Columbia. Nice to see the mountains again. Grew up around a lot of mountains in the Yukon, and of course, living out here in Ontario, you just don't see that many of them anymore. So nice to be back around the mountains. So where are we going today? Well, we're back in the vehicle and we are heading up to Muskoka country today. I had a subscriber last winter uh, say to me, you should ride Bob these four lakes up in uh, Muskoka country. I think you'd like them. So I looked it up on a map. I've never been uh, on these lakes. It's right in the heart of Muskoka country. The destination today is Huntsville. And uh, the lakes that we're going to ride today are four lakes that are connected by either a short river or I think in one case there's actually um, a canal. We're going to find out about that. I'm not 100% sure. The lakes are Vernon Lake, then there's Ferry Lake, then there's Peninsula Lake, and then down to the south of those three, which are kind of in a line, there's a lake called Mary Lake, which is connected by a little longer river. So that's the plan for today. We're going to go explore those lakes, have a look, and see what they're all about. And uh, the weather for today, a little bit cooler, maybe 24 degrees Celsius. And the winds are supposed to be pretty calm, so that's good. So let's go explore those four lakes. We'll uh, get an idea together what they're all about. I've never been on those lakes and uh, just thought, you know, it's always interesting to go to new places, not places you've al already been three, four, five times. So this is all new. We're going to go up and check it out today. It's a couple hours from where I live to get there, and I should be there shortly, and we'll see you in just a bit out towards the water in Muskoka country. Okay, get the drone in there, throw that in there life jacket. I'll take the cooler with me today, but uh, just the, the one seat. I've taken the back seat off. Hardly ever use the back seat, but I will bring the cooler. No extra gas. I shouldn't need that. Quick little map I printed of where I'm going to be going. There's the three lakes there. I don't know if you can see that one, two, and then three, and then down there there's another lake. So that's the plan for today. I'll just bring that along so I've got a, a visual reference of where I'm going. So here's a look at the, the launch site. This is called Hutchinson Beach Park, just outside of Huntsville. And uh, there is no concrete pad here. This is all just a sand launch. So you're gonna have to be careful not to spin a tire or anything like that, but I think it'll be all right. Uh, these nice folks here with the uh, kayaks have said that they've seen launch people launching boats here. So if you can launch a boat here, then I can easily launch a, a Sea-Doo here. So I'm gonna give it a try. Shouldn't be a real problem. Looks like it'll be all right. I've just parked up around the corner here and uh, we'll get everything set up and then we'll uh, back on in. Are you launching or are we okay to go ahead? You go ahead. Oh, cool. So if you get stuck first, then I'll be okay. <laughs> Have you launched here before? Yeah. Yeah, it's all sand, so it's, I thought there might be, a, it's the first time I'm oh, here, but okay. I shouldn't have any problem launching there, right? It's all, just fine. back in, drop it off. Yeah. You guys go right ahead. We go in a band. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. So there's proof, they just said it's okay, so I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as it turned out, there actually was a problem, and a problem with the camera at the same time. Uh, when I was recording all of the, the backing in process, the camera was in time lapse, so that didn't work out for me. But the problem was is that I just couldn't get back in far enough uh, with the, the truck to launch the sea By the time I backed up the sea uh, into the water, the truck was already having water come over the bottom of the, 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 the door seals. So I couldn't get far enough back into the water to launch the Sea-Doo, so this spot did not work out. Well, that's too bad, but I was just afraid that if I'd gone any further back in there, there's a, there's a possibility of, uh, well, first of all, getting too deep in the water with the vehicle, and secondly, maybe, uh, maybe getting stuck and spinning a tire in the sand. So. The next place we're going to on this explore exploration trip is over to Avery Park Beach. And uh, from Avery Park Beach, I think there's a concrete pad there. So we're gonna check that out and see if we can get in over there. It's not that far away, about three kilometers from here. Okay, so we are uh, finally on the water. Different location than where we started from, but uh, a little bit of screwing around. That's the thing when you've never been somewhere before, you just don't totally know what the setup's gonna be. But we are on the water now, and I think this was called Avery Beach Park. And there's a concrete pad here, and it looks pretty good. The only thing is, watch out for uh, places to park. It'll get filled, real, filled up real fast, particularly on the weekends, I think. This is a, a Wednesday, and earlier in the morning, and it's already getting fairly full. But we're on the lake, we're on the water, Time to go explore 
this four lake system. And I think we're gonna start by heading down that way, make our way through Lake Vernon first of all, then we'll come back and do uh, Ferry Lake, which is right near uh, Huntsville. And then we'll go further to the east and do Peninsula Lake and then down to the south and do Mary Lake. That's the plan, we'll see how that all works out. Everything's hooked up, I think we're just about ready to, ready to go. Make a couple of adjustments and we should be on our way. Okay, so I don't know if you can see just up there or not on the beach. That's the Hutchinson Beach Park. And that's where I tried to launch from. It's just kind of a, an area where you can put canoes or kayaks in or very small little aluminum boats. But uh, to get the sea dew off was a little tricky through there. So it's mostly kind of a, a beach swimming area, that sort of thing. There is a boat launch, but I would not recommend that boat launch. It's very, you, have to, you just have to back too far in with your vehicle to actually get in there. And the boat launch is actually just up over here to the left, right up in there. Maybe I'll pull up just a little bit to get a look at it from the water. But it looks like it's shallow for quite a ways out here, which is why it's such a great area for a beach, because you can just wander on out here. There's the launch right in there. And that didn't go so well. So we moved around, we found a new area, and it all worked out in the end. Okay, let's get the drone in the air. By the way, we are using a wireless microphone system today. It's right here. If you can see it clipped onto the shirt there. I'm trying it out, I haven't used it all that much. I bought it uh, over the winter and I'm just kind of getting used to it. Wondering how long the batteries last and all that sort of thing. There's a receiver end that's uh, hooked up to the top of the camera and then plugged in. And then the remote end is, uh, you can just clip it on. So it's clipped on. We're gonna see how the audio sounds off of this and uh, whether or not uh, it's better than just the onboard microphones on the GoPro Hero 9. I think it is, because you know, you're got it really fairly close to you here, but we'll, we'll, we'll test it out and we'll see. And then the other thing, of course, is just how long are those batteries gonna last and will they run out and I won't know they've run out and then all of a sudden I won't have any audio or something. So all of these things, we're just kind of testing it out. It's the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone system. If you're interested in uh, the brand, you get two remote mics and then you get the one uh, receiver mic that clips onto the camera and plugs in. So that works pretty well. Trying it out, just seeing how it works. So when you think you don't have quite enough toys at the cottage, you could always add one more toy. There you go. Just put your little Cessna, I don't know what that is, a, a 172 maybe, right up out of the water. I wonder how they got it up out of the water on the dock like that. That is a neat little setup. Isn't that fantastic? I think the whole dock opens or goes up and down. You just drive up onto the dock when it's down low under the water, then the whole dock goes up and down. But that is really cool. Got your own little plane, house up top, got your speedboat, got your sea -dews. You are set, man. 
<laughs> Kids would love that. Bounce up out of that and then into the water. All the toys. Got to have them. This is kind of nice here. They've got a little uh, public beach area right here in one corner of the lake. A swimming platform and a dock up there. And then they've got it all cordoned off here with rope and buoys so boats don't get in too close. Sandy beach area right in there. Looks like they've got some canoe maybe rentals over there. Nice little area. And I think there's a bit of a boat launch here, but I'm, I, yeah, I think you can get around to that. I knew there was one on the far end of Vernon Lake. I'd seen it once before, but I couldn't find it again because this is the one I think I was originally thinking of coming to. Let me just go over there and have a look at it and see what it looks like. I think it's got a concrete pad, which would be great. So this is called the uh, Norvern Shores. Norvern Shores. Just looked on the GPS and that's what it's called. Norvern Shores. I couldn't find it again after uh, the first time I saw it, but here it is from the water. So I guess you can pull in here. I don't know if this is, looks like it's a public beach. Northern Shores Association. So maybe it's uh, not public. Let's have a look over here. Little marina area in here. No unauthorized docking. Now I think this may be private. Yeah, this could be privately owned. Just not sure. Yeah, members only, it says on the sign. So that's why it's not a public dock and you can't come in here. Yeah, that's the one I saw on the map earlier and I was kind of confused because I couldn't find it again. But then I was searching for public boat launches and that's why that never showed up because this is a private members only uh, type of situation here. You know, it is kind of nice to see that, you know, as I explore this lake a little more, there are quite a few areas where there, there are no cottages and it's just kind of natural wildlife you know here and there a lot of cottages for sure but uh, just here and there there are places where it's just all natural this is a little island actually right out here probably too steep to build on eh, maybe not i don't know i've seen people build on steeper things than this there's a tree that's seen some better days <laughs> not exactly sure what this is looks like just a little barricade across uh, a body of water here little dock system in here goes all the way across kind of neat Woo! <laughs> good one I suppose one of the good things about the, the wireless microphone system as opposed to the onboard camera system is that I can get the camera quite a ways back now and still have really good audio because the audio is coming from right here and not from the camera which is on a little bit of a, a selfie stick about uh, two feet away from me so the audio should be better in uh, using the the wireless go microphone rather than the onboard microphone especially for things that where it's a little bit distant a little bit further away from you these little patio setups that people have got right down on the docks on the water. What a great little hangout that would be. Beautiful cottage back in there too with all that stone. And then really nice patio area down here. Hey ducks. <laughs> so this is Ferry Lake. We've come through the river by Huntsville and we're into Ferry Lake. Now the one thing that I noticed in Ferry Lake is that the cottages do seem to be a little bit more spread out. There seems to be more land in between the cottages. Um, very pretty lake as well though. Very nice. You see there's one there and then there's not another cottage still down in that point down there. So that's kind of nice. You got a little more uh, a little more land around you. Looks like I put the hat back on now because the sun's kind of strong and I'm a little bit worried about getting burnt on the forehead. Oh yeah, take a look at that now back in there. That's nice. 
Very, very little for sale in Muskoka. And what is for sale goes pretty quick. I wonder if they're getting bidding wars going on out here. There's a neat little dock area right up here. Must be attached to some cottage somewhere, but I don't see the cottage. Oh, and a swing. Look at the swing that they've got in there. You know what that is? That's from a ski lift, an old ski lift. And they've converted it into like a swing up in there. Very cool. All right, so now we're down at the end of Ferry Lake and about to make our way into the next little river system that will connect us into Peninsula Lake, and that's just up here. Need to get over a little bit though because it's kind of weedy right in this area and follow those markers more along the shoreline. And then this is just a short little, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you call it a river, but it's, it's not very long. And then you're into the next body of water, which is Peninsula Lake, just down this way. That's a nice looking ski boat. I haven't been on water skis in a lot of years. I think the last time I did it just about killed my legs. Came off those water skis and my legs were just like rubber. <laughs> I did used to, you know, I used to water ski in the Yukon, believe it or not, on the Yukon River and some of the lakes there. The water was colder. You didn't want to fall a lot up there. Learning how to ski in the north was not a great thing. <laughs> you, you wanted to learn quick. So, just a pretty little river through here, and then Peninsula Lake. Right on the shore over there is a great blue heron. Might be able to make him out. Standing right on the end of that log. Put a little green lawn out in front of your place, and look what happens. You invite the entire Canadian geese population to join you. Hi there. I think they actually call this a canal and not a river. And there's the exit or the entrance depending on the way you're going so right up there is peninsula lake hi guys nice boat and that's the uh, the deerhurst uh, lodge resort right up there and i can tell because of all the people on the beach out front so we're going to take a run up there and i'll just show it to you from the water deerhurst lodge resort Better slow down through here. Wow, is this place ever busy for a middle of the week Wednesday? There's a lot of people out here, paddle boards everywhere. <laughs> There's a good workout for you. <laughs> Kayaks, paddle boards. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. So this is the Deerhurst Resort. So this is Peninsula Lake, and as I said, this is the last lake in the chain of the system. So this is as far as I can go when you're looking east to west, or west to east, 
done all three now. And I think I'll make my way back now towards uh, Huntsville and grab a bite to eat. It's 1.30, so the restaurant should have cleared out a little bit by now. Go back and uh, grab a bite to eat. Just power down to the end of this lake and then make a loop back. I'm down to about uh, a little over half a tank of gas. So Mary Lake, I think, guys, is going to be out of the question for this particular trip. Too bad. Maybe it's another trip. All right, so that's lunch at Boston Pizza. And we're going to do a little bit of cruising around the lake now for just a little bit before we pack her up and head out of here. Little little water trip. Still pretty warm out. I think we've hit about 25, 26, 27 degrees, something like that today. And the winds have been great. Just as uh, Windfinder said, they've been calm all day long. And um, it's going to pick up tomorrow. So I got the right day. Okay, here is the cottage that I want right here. It's a little fixer-upper, needs a little bit of work. A couple of planks here and there for support and structure, and maybe a little bit of paint. It will not need air conditioning. It already has that built in. Nice breeze through the evening there. Put a little netting on there to keep the mosquitoes out. Yeah, on Lake Muskoka. That should be good for about $600,000, and that's not a bad buy. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for another Yukon Bob video. Today we were out on uh, three lakes. We had planned on four, but we only did three. We did Vernon Lake, we did Ferry Lake, and we did Peninsula Lake. And we went down a little bit down the river on towards Mary Lake to have a look at what that might be like. That's for another day, I guess. Just kind of ran out of time for that. Hope you enjoyed the video today. New country for me today on this trip. Kind of a chance to see some, uh, some new lakes in the Muskoka region. Haven't been out on these lakes before, so it was kind of nice to see them. Lots of cottages out here. Pretty country. And what's really nice about this lake system is it's all connected, as I said. So you've got a lot of water to play on if you're on one of these three lakes or four lakes if you get down to the southern one. Thanks for coming along on another Yukon Bob video. We hope uh, we'll get out uh, soon, maybe in the next week or two. We will see you all on the next video. Till then, stay safe. Well, I think it's finally time for a swim. I'm basically back to where I started from. The launch is just right over there. And it's a sandy bottom here, so I think it's time to get a little wet. Ooh, that's a bit chilly. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. I can wash the suntan lotion off a little bit before I drive back home.